while Rosario, a reported candidate in the cast before a week, so he was able to test it out at full speed. Good right in the sparring session a couple of weeks. Danito Perez. Good combination with Brown. First round action from Puerto Rico. Of his career as he lost the unanimous decision and was very nearly shut out on all of the cards. with that right jab. Rosario coming back with a right. Luis Ramirez of Mexico, the veteran referee, the world's best in his profession. He does not have a voice in the scoring. The three judges at ringside will do this. Lou Filippo. For the most part, it was Rosario pressing the action. Good right there against Arguello by Rosario. The crowd really coming to life as he has Ramirez back. He's a great counterpuncher. Then capable of knocking his opponent out. The record proving that. The both quite crafty and skillful. Here comes Rosario. Right. Live from San Juan for anticipation for this fight. And of course, it's a pro Rosario. He lives just two fighting for the vacant Guayo. Ramirez rank has not fought since May. Ramirez away and certainly gained his attention. And unless the round perhaps could have been scored for either. Three judges at ringside doing this. McKinney, no voice in the scoring. with a wild right. Five seconds remaining. We're in the third round. Ramirez trying to work his way in. The WBC World Lightweight Championship fight is the makings of a good one. Edwin Rosario, the black trunk. And see if he's effective here using that San Juan. Peace and tempo thus far in the fourth round. in the corner. He didn't do anything with him the last time he had him there. Now he tries to work inside, working to the body. Rosario! For a minute remaining in the fourth round. Ramirez still picking off most of those punches. Rosario again backed into the quick left by Rosario with under a half minute. And we'll return with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports by Rosario and neither fighter has really taken charge as we second round and knocked them out in the third in Vegas Crowd chanting Chapo good left by Ramirez and a wild right but he did score with the left hand Rosario turning Rosario and the crowd getting to its feet and chanting as Rosario puts the pressure to off the roll. Now he's got Rosario in the corner. And we're trying to fight his way out. A good left hand. Again, almost by design. And so Curry is of inaction as they await awaiting the instigation of action. of the fifth round right by Rosario with the WBC lightweight one of the more effective blows the left hook land guard in the black here <laughs> to this point works his way out of that corner <laughs> and a good right Ramirez just waiting Punch tries to work his way out, but again it's Rosario dominating and another good combination by Rosario. Rosario really putting the heat on now, and Ramirez is wobbly. Ramirez wearing down as Rosario has him backed into the corner with a Ramirez very 
gutsy, though, for a game trying to come back. Good action here in the sixth round, but the pace is slow, controlled by Rosario, who has landed all of the effective blows. End of the sixth round. In the black trunk. These days. Kentucky Derby, you'll be seeing it live on ABC at 4.30 Eastern Time, 1.30 on the West Coast. Wide World will start Eastern. One minute gone in the seventh round. Also on Wide World next week, World Showdown. Ramirez. He will figure that Rosario on the basis through the first six rounds. here that is exhibited in the four and that is starting slowly and then coming on in the second half five and six and he has started slowly and now he's coming on again here in round seven but back comes Ramirez in the half minute mark of round seven having a good round. Has him backed into the corner. He's doing some effective scoring here. Round. Rosario for the most part, the recent W. We're in the eighth. Pressure again here put on by Ramirez. But Rosario gets what you might call he blows as we said an effective counter puncher 15 years old to a lawyer attempting to call one minute remaining well, if that right hand has bothered him in it it was originally diagnosed as something other than a fracture only in the last six weeks 20 seconds remaining. Ramirez pressing, as was the case in the second. BC World Lightweight Champ. Rosario. Inching eight rounds. Good left. Hit. Basic Rosario fight in a way. Quite effective, except that it's not typical in the sense that he's not put his man away very early. That had been to consider the caliber of opposition. It wasn't that terrific. A lot of people felt that Drew was over the hill at that point. At the end of this round, we'll be taking a seat in San Juan. Again now, Ramirez, as has been the case in the last three rounds. Mario is doing uh, some occasional scoring, and he's showing good footwork and foot speed. But he has not landed with nearly the effectiveness of late that he did in the middle round. But now, and of course, Rosario to ring rustiness, the end of May of 82. And he's in with a very good lightweight and Ramirez experience. After this, from our local station, championship fight. Substantial lead after the first four rounds as Jose Luis rounds. And as a constant, three judges doing the scoring. No voice in the scoring. But Ramirez appears to be able to shake everything off. He has never really been in trouble but has come back in fine fashion. Third time in his career that he's fought a left-hander. Third time reportedly. Halfway through the 10th round. Ramirez, and this has been a posture that you have had with great frequency in this fight. Now, Rosario backs away, but Ramirez has had Rosario against the ropes on a couple of occasions. Decent combination just thrown by Rosario, but back comes Ramirez now, pressing the issue. Ramirez, the 10th round, under a minute to go in round 10. And a mouse developing under the left eye of Rosario. Rosario has been only 10 rounds once in his career, as we say, undefeated, and only once had he gone the distance. Ramirez really coming on now here in the latter round and scoring effectively here in the 10th round. Good action. 
action-packed round. Ten second mark in round ten. Rosario and Ramirez for the WBC. It will be very, very close. Ten point must system. And again, it begins. Rosario had a mouse developing a puffiness. This is both obviously the 11 month layoff from the ring, despite the fact he's only 20 years old. But he's unable to. Way mark around 11. Lou Filippo. It's Ramirez who's been picking up in the final minute of round 11, scheduled for 12. Rosario, despite being pressed into the corner, has been landing some effective blows. Good right hand, a good right by Ramirez, but Rosario comes right back at him. The 11th round winding down. Now the crowd. Championship at stake. It's been a good one. Number one by the WBC. A minute gone in the final round. Ramirez again pressing the action there by Ramirez. Forcing Rosario back into the corner. Ramirez, certainly the fresher of the two, as this fight winds down. We're halfway through the 12th round. Ramirez, who has been landing some very effective blows in the second half of this fight. Again, pressuring Rosario, who still has that mouse underneath his left eye. That's three rounds. Rosario from here in Puerto Rico at the age of 20. Here in the ability to knock their opponents out and normally do it very early. But this one, 40 seconds remaining in the 12th round. Again, another good right hand by Ramirez. Overwhelming punches, but he has done a tremendous amount of scoring. Good exchange here. And it's Ramirez showing no little. And again, backing Rosario. And we've had a lot. Ramirez and Rosario. And there it is. It's all over. And it's interesting. And you can... Edwin Rosario, a 20-year-old from 